River Rena. Surprise, surprise, I agree with the uh, member for Newcastle when she says health is the most pressing issue, because it is. Uh, of course, it ties in with the cost of living crisis too, but uh, if Labor were so good with uh, Medicare and uh, health in general, why have the bulk billing rates slipped and fallen so markedly since they took office in May 2022. Why is the, a town such as Parks in central western New South Wales in the River Inner electorate uh, not able to have um, maternity services in their hospital such that there has not been a baby born there, according to Mayor Neil Westcott, for five years? Uh, for a town of that size, it simply is unacceptable. And I agree with the member for Newcastle. Health is and should always be the number one priority. Uh, as Councillor Westcott observed, how do we as a town and shire attract doctors when we don't have the services available here to deliver babies? It's so, so true. I was, I'm, I'm still shattered by the fact that when Labor came to office, it changed the distribution priority areas for general practitioners to include some outer suburbs of Sydney and Melbourne, as well as Newcastle, Wollongong, the Gold Coast and other major cities. You cannot tell me and you cannot convince country people that those areas I just mentioned uh, have a priority, such as those towns, such as Parks and others in more remote Australia. Um, distribution priority areas identify areas where people don't have enough access to doctors based on the needs of the community. And there's so many regional centres that fall, fall into that category, and yet Labor seems to think that that should include uh, outer suburbs of our two major capital cities. It is simply not good enough, because why would you, having just graduated as a doctor, um, want to go out to some of those more remote areas of Australia when you can put your shingle up um, just in, in one of those major capital centres or indeed the Gold Coast? Uh, it is difficult enough for rural and regional areas, let alone remote areas, to not only attract but also retain doctors to work in hospitals um, as well as f uh, have their own, their own clinics. Labor's decision has drawn the ire of health authorities. They see the move as a deterrent to doctors going to places where they are most needed, such as parks. And, and this is a quote from the Chief Executive Officer of the Rural Doctors Association, um, who said that we're already seeing the withdrawal of applications and a reduced number of overseas trained doctor applicants. It's having an immediate impact. We've seen adverts of corporate practices where they're saying, if you've got a provider number with restrictions on it, you can now work in Hobart or Canberra unrestricted. And the president of uh, the RDA, Dr Megan Bellow, uh, said no sooner was Labor's change announced than Metropolitan Medical Clinics went after country doctors. Went after country doctors. So they, they headhunted them. Uh, there has been a long-standing policy that require overseas trained doctors who want to live and work in Australia to spend time caring for rural and remote uh, communities uh, it has had a classification triple M37 before receiving an unrestricted Medicare provider number. Labor said Dr Bellow has scrapped this requirement by adding all large regional centres triple M2 and other out of metropolitan areas triple M1 to the distribution priority area classification. Simply not good enough. And, as she said, quote, as quickly as it was announced, city medical practices started targeting doctors in rural areas to move to cities including Canberra, Hobart, Sunshine Coast and Wollongong. The Murray-Darling Medical Schools Network I know is going to make a difference, and I'm so pleased that uh, as part of the, it's one of the legacies of uh, my time as Deputy Prime Minister, because it will uh, make sure that doctors are able to, to do their full amount of training in a country setting. And whether that's at Dubbo or Wagga Wagga or Orange or Mildura, uh, Bendigo even, it's going to make such a difference because they will go to those country areas if they're not there already. They will stay in those country areas when they get their diploma, their certificate, um, and uh, because they'll fall in love with the area. They'll see there's money to be made in the area. Maybe they might fall in love with somebody in the area and that will keep them, keep them there. But rest assured, uh, it is a, a good initiative. I know at Wagga Wagga the UNSW is making great strides in, uh, in certainly making the, uh, the young graduates uh, very welcome 
and uh, they're going to be doing all of their training in that setting, in the new multi-storey building right next door to Wagga Wagga Base Hospital where they can do their prac. It's a good outcome. The question is that the motion be agreed.